Welcome back to the Sportsmax Zone on a Monday. The self-styled icon Marlon Samuels is here with us on The Zone. Now, if you missed any of our exclusive interview with him, don't worry. You can catch the repeat of today's Zone at 6.30, that's 7.30 in the Eastern Caribbean on Sportsmax 2. Marlon Samuels has a large fan base, uh, including over 15,000 followers on Instagram. In today's interactive, we're going to give you the opportunity to pose questions or give him words of encouragement. So we did that as well. And let's hear what this fan had to say. Marlon Samuels. I am Junior Codlin, been watching and listening West Indies cricket since 1999. Okay. You have made us proud, you have won us two World Cup, your innings have saved us pride. Even last year when Australia and England toured here, Australia and South Africa. We are begging you to stay put, we, are, we know that you are out of the sight now. We are begging you to stay put because we need more of your service in West Indies cricket. Well, Marlon Samuels. What can I say? Yes. That His was name junior. is Junior. You see how long Junior support West Indies cricket? Yeah. I mean, you have people that support West Indies cricket long before him, you know. But him, him dedicate himself to West Indies cricket. And no matter how much West Indies cricket down in the dirt and a lose, he's still there as a fan. These are the things that I'm talking about with the West Indies Cricket Board. And now the vision to make real charge around the cricket. No vision. Because if you have fans like these, we should lose in so much fans. You need to take these fans and make them feel special. Take them sometime and put them into the box where they might drink the whole of the free rum and the free water. And make the fan get close to the West Indies board man and get close to them and watch the cricket, you know. Uh, these are because we're losing fans. So we need, to, we need to think along this line. You need to turn up to our house and let the entire family come to the cricket ground mm. and make sure the camera on them. Let them feel special. And make, make other families see stuff like that and yeah. see the board doing those stuff and want to be a part of West Indies cricket again. New what, promotional what, What's your relationship with Dave Cameron? I think he celebrated a birthday on Saturday. He went to Kingston College as you did. We know that's a very proud school. Um, you are criticizing his vision for West Indies cricket? I'm not criticizing about the vision, but I have a relationship with no man. Mm -hmm. Relationship with my family and and, 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 and those stuff like that. Um, All right, let's I not use know, the word I relationship. What's exactly. your interaction like with Mr. Cameron as president Do you get of the on? board? Get on. You know, understand. I can't argue with no one. No, don't get, get on. I can fix up an argument okay. today on the sports match. You know what we're asking you, Mr. Do, do, do you respect him as a good president of the West Indies Cricket a, Board? Good one. A good president? Of the West Indies Cricket Board. Best president of West Indies Cricket Board was, was Mr. Wes Hall. Reason being, he interacted with the players. He never have this, his ego wasn't that big. He come down to hurt and try to deal with everybody the right way. Back then, those, all the board members was very close. I'm not saying all the board members now is not close with the players, you know. But you have too many board members, members walking around like them a sign autograph and a take picture. Last time I see me I see that I can't take picture and a sign autograph. But well, you know West Hall is very disappointed because while he was president, having said what you just said, that he felt that he was a, a player kind of president. Yeah, too much who egos. Him. But during his e era of presidency, that's the first time players went on strike. <laughs> and you know he was very disappointed about All that. Right. So you understand where I'm coming from? No. And what is happening now? No, I'm not. Lance is making the point that even when they're sort of down-to-earth presidents, the players, the players still... don't play their role. Yeah, yeah, but that depends. It, it all depends on what is happening at that time in the system and the kind of players. Because I'm not going to say every player. Right. I remember say, but then you have, you have big players that feel like they're bigger than the game too. Sure. Mm -hmm. and, and the ego through the roof and stuff like that. So, of course, he will run into players like that. But right now with West Indies cricket, it's like the board first, players second. But as far as I'm concerned, Without the players, there is no board. Mm. Yeah. All right, let's take some more voice notes. This is the interactive segment for Sports Mac Zone. Good afternoon, Sports Mac. My name is Todd Purcell from Antigua. I'm here listening to the West Indies cricket. Watch some, listen some. The captain. Okay, he bowled well, but he's a all rounder. Good afternoon, Sports Mac Zone. My name is Todd Purcell from Antigua. You're having the world boss in show this afternoon. My Batman, my greatest Batman. You know, Marlon Samuel. Let me say big up and keep fighting, brother. You got that more cricket with you. You know what I mean? Todd Perth of Antigua. Two Batman over there. 
more. That's Todd from Antigua, big fan of yours. You see, West Indians still want you to play cricket for the West Indies. It's, it's, that seems to be an obvious thing. Well, I mean, as I said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not finished yet. I'll still be playing some cricket, but what is, I mean, I've been playing for what, 17 years? And, and at, at the moment, I think we should be way more advanced where we are. We're still lagging behind. We're lagging behind because of the, the infrastructure and the inside internal problems. You know, we need to get that out of the cricket. Start getting players more comfort comfortable. Yeah, if a player fails and stuff like that, you gotta make him carry the water. You know, mm -hmm. and you're gonna leave him out the team because you need to. He needs to. He need to remind standards. himself exactly. Standards. He needs standards. Yes. But I mean, we have to get much closer. But board and players need to get much closer together in order for this to work. Mm. It's not going to work. We have another voice note coming in from Joshua. Let's see what he has to say. Good morning, sports folks. Hope you all had a fabulous weekend. Up and early. I hope you had a, have a productive Monday. Uh, my question for Marlon Samuel. Boy. Uh, well, the first one, knowing that he's a former KC student, how disappointed is he that Kingston College did not win champs? But my main question, or two of them actually, is um, yo, you know, um, what do you think about West Indies not having real strong and more like, you know, someone like you, very aggressive, more um, want to win, like winners. Like in football, we have a Zlatan Ibrahimovic and a Ronaldo, you know, people who really want to win every day, day in, day out, always want to win in cricket. I don't see much of that. You know, maybe Sam is one, um, and I know Marlon is one, but what about that? Do we need more people, you know, figureheads like those in cricket? That's Joshua. He's a regular contributor to the Sports Mag Zone, visually impaired, but really astute and knows, knows his sport. Um, he thinks, he reckons that there aren't enough fighters in West Indies cricket at the moment, players with your kind of acumen that, that you know, are very, show this great passion for winning and, and get very distraught when the team doesn't win. It's, yeah, but um, to be honest, let me tell you, let me tell you about many of these players, players that are playing right now. They're afraid to express themselves, you know what I mean? Because they're fighting for a game, they much too much things on the brain, mm. you know, to, to look the part like he, the way that he wants, to, wants them to look. They're fighting for a game. That's how the system, when you have players fighting for a game all the time, you're not going to get the best out of the player. Find a new system where you're going to tell a player that, listen, I'm going to give you a two or three year run. I need you to, to stay at this standard and I need this from you. Get the player comfortable in his brain. But every time a player wake up, he don't know if he's going to play in the, on the morning. And if he perform, he's he still, not, he, he not, still not sure in the game. So when you have a different mindset with the player, they put a different standard and set the, the environment much much comfortable and let the players them happy. I think it will work much better, but for now people aren't sure, so you're not going to see too many peer players coming out and aggressive and stuff like that. You see Jonathan Carter the other day trying to fight with Ben Stokes and stuff like that. We need those stuff, but you have, you have people now in the board that will say that they don't want stuff like that because they, they, they have a problem with me fighting with Ben Stokes. Say that I cannot captain West in this team because I'm, I'm, I'm always in conflict with people. Who is in more conflict? Ricky Ponting a beat up 10, 500 man now and bar and Captain Australia. Eh? Virat calling across everybody and Captain India. That's what I'm going to say. They're afraid of strength and they're afraid of strong character. Marlon Samuels dropping some wisdom on Monday Sports Mag Zone. We mentioned to you he does all sorts of things, including now reality TV. He went on a date with a fan. Her name was Curvy. And uh, I think we, she, he, Marlon had a very big surprise for her, which we're going to show you. No, you wanted to wear a Bridget, and I said wear heels, but to change it and tell you wear what you want and be comfortable in yourself, so. Oh, and I got some white ones. Oh, thanks. Some beautiful Bridget, so. Mm -hmm. Nice. Loving it? Yeah, I love it. Thank you. I didn't know that you have a daughter, but now that I know you have a daughter, you know, you know, you know, talk about anybody and pops yeah, all, pops the time. all the time, right? For the next two years, mm -hmm. Icon is responsible for your daughter's school fee. I'll take care of it. What? And save you that stress, okay? You serious? Of course. And, and anything oh, I can say. Oh my Icon God! Say, thank so you. Go. For the next two years, I'm responsible for your daughter's school fee in high school, okay? Oh, thank you so much.
It is, it's not the Ellen DeGeneres show. Don't get confused. Icon <laughs> himself. Where was Incredible. that, Marla? Uh, where was that? At the estate, man. My home, man. Your home. Overlooking the city, man. The estate. No pity. <laughs> Martin, it's not any pity at all. You know that you've fundamentally changed that woman's life. She can't believe it now. And, and, and for, the, for the, those in the region life, who don't recognize um, the reference, the, the Bridget sandals, they're very popular. Uh, actually, across the region, people come to Jamaica to buy those sandals. Not super cheap. So I'm sure she would have been pleased with that. Yeah, definitely. More pleased, I think, though, with the commitment to two years of uh, taking care of her daughter through high school. Um, I think I'm not alone in saying, Marlon, that this reality show is going to sell off. <laughs> it the, looks the, fascinating. The icon movement is, is right now, they call it, they call it the icon movement. It's very powerful and positive, you know, because mm -hmm. it's about helping people and interaction with, pe with people and all those stuff because I, I, I went live at the Pegasus with one of my one of my very good mentors he's, he's about 70 and he, he, he told them on the Icon Live that listen I'm giving away 250,000 I'm giving eight people $30,000 so you know we're gonna continue to help and this is what it's about getting into people life and do the work we've been doing the work you just seeing the work now but I can I can I can I can invite at least 30 to 40 people on the show and they can tell you that 10 years ago I did this for them, 15 years ago I did that for them, you know. So I teach all my friends to fish because I don't want them to come back every minute and ask me for stuff. Yes. So that's why I have some loyal soldiers around me. Marlon, would you say you're maturing? I mean, we have to wrap up now, which is a very sad thing because I'd like to talk to all afternoon. But would you say that you're more of a mature man now? Let me think first before I answer that question. Um, to, to be honest, first time I saw you, I thought you were very fake, mm -hmm. right? But then, remember, I run into you yeah. in the morning and actually had breakfast with you. Yeah. I said, you, you, you're going in your purse. I said, take your time, man. I'll take, I can yeah. really take care of it for you. But then I interact with you for like, we spent about half an hour there. That's right. And then I get a little bit close to you. And I just like that your soul and your spirit was just natural. Don't blush, right? But yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I know. Youngsters don't use them style, they don't blush. <laughs> but you can blush if you want. Yeah, yeah. yeah? Through the makeup, you'll see a black woman blush. It's true. I but did right now, I like you. Thanks, Marlon. Yeah, but man. you still haven't answered the question. Have I, I sure? think that that's evidence. Perhaps the old Marlon would have judged me for how he perceived me. Moon by another rather, rather than taking his time to get to know someone, I think that's an improvement in yeah, character. It was the same character. thing me got through, because people see the icon and just don't like the icon. You understand? I'm, I'm so busy, I'm, 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 I'm a blink as them. I don't have no time to focus on people. I go to explain to people that this is all mistake, this is all no, because I have so much things and I have so much goal that I want to achieve. So when I achieve them, no, I can come now. And who never know the icon is going to know the icon now. All right, Marlon Samuels on the Sports Mag Zone. Well, we're going to leave you a clip with uh, Marlon Samuels on a date. Not, not, not with me, with Kirby. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming on the show. It was great to have you. Wonderful. Pleasure. I'm glad that we're friends now. He's a good one. <laughs> Bless Here me. is Kirby, his date, learning to use a knife and fork. So you're still not going to try the knife and fork? No. Alright, you want me to try? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah, remember we tell you early, be brave. Mm -hmm. Can you make me throw away your knife? See knife here, I never throw it away. Watch this. That's how simple that is. Mm -hmm. Just use the fork first. Put on the piece what you want. And then you cut. How simple that is. How easy that is. How you tell me you can't use knife and fork, eh? Hmm? So simple it is? Yeah. Yeah, you're not going to do it all the time, but it's, mm -hmm. it's good to have. have. Yeah. yeah, I know. Like if you're going to some meeting, some important people invite you out, you know? Oh, boy. And all these things. You're stuck on the knife and fork. It's a fear for you. You need, you need to get over the fear. You did, just, you did it well just now, so you don't have to worry about it anymore. Curvy, can you use knife and fork? No. no. Right. Thanks for the air conditioner. All right. <laughs>